All right, I'm going to be introducing the all new Paul's Depot train station kit by the nice folks at Osborne Models, some people that you ought to look into. This is a laser cut wood kit number 3119 and here's what it looks like. This is what the packaging picture looks like. It's a very, very simple, easy kit. Most anybody can build it. It comes with real simple instructions, my kind of instructions with lots of pictures, not too many words. I would prefer a color set of directions, but hey, what can I say? The kit's parts are well cut out, and you can see there's not a whole lot of bits and pieces here. It's a real simple kit. It's like a upper level beginner. Now, keeping in the idea of inexpensive, easy kits, I decided to go with my rattle can paints, and they work really well as long as you keep your distance. And the hardest part, if there was a hard part to this kit, was masking them off. Now, some things were painted, some things I used my Sharpie on. Get creative in coloring things, because it's really a lot of fun when you start playing with different ways to make colors. Well, here are all the parts ready to go. And now it's time to put them together. You can see there's not too many parts, and it's pretty hard to get them mixed up. But I did make a little mistake a little later. Now, while everything is flat, I like to do a lot of extra stuff like, well, put some weathering on. In this case, you can see I'm weathering up the walkway. It might be a good time to talk about adhesive. I like good old fashioned Elmer's white glue. Cheap, easy. Now, like I said, I like to put a lot of stuff together while it's still laying flat, things like windows and stuff like that. It's your choice, of course, but personally, I find it easier. Now with these parts, most parts it's almost impossible to get them in the wrong place. Uh, I'm saying most, because I did have a little problem. Now of course you want to have lots of handy helpers. You want to keep everything in place while the glue's drying, because if you don't keep it plumb and square, it's not going to look right. Now here's one of the places that you have to be really careful of. There is a very distinctive left and right, and I kind of, yeah, I kind of put it together in the wrong side to start, had to change it. Oh, and here's another little problem. I should have put the second floor floor in before I put all the all the uh, sides together. I ended up having to nip off a couple of tabs to make it fit. And of course, sometimes you got to get creative with your handy helpers to hold everything in place. Now, the one thing that I didn't much care for is these big holes where the tabs go on the roof. Now, I have contacted the Osborne guys, and they say, hey, we got a fix for it. We're going to put out these shingles that will cover up these big holes where the tabs go. Other than that, this was a wonderful little kit. Oh, and don't forget about all the little extras. There's a bunch of little extras that come with the kit, like the signaling. And here you have the kit, all built and completed. And all together, it took me about, oh, including the painting, maybe three hours to build the whole thing. And you can see those big holes in the roof, and that's one thing that I don't care for. But other than that, it's a wonderful little kit. You guys should look into the Osborne kits. And, of course, you can name it anything you want, but I wanted to name it the Paul's Depot. So look into their line. I'm sure you'll like the stuff. It's easy. Have fun, folks. See ya.